Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nassie and I have a special guest star with me today. Hi, I'm Beverly. <laughs> and yeah, I'm Beverly. This is my one of my closest friends, Beverly. Um, she also has a YouTube channel and it's really funny. At the moment she does a lot of vlogs and stuff. She's been in Norway for the last year. Mm -hmm. um, she studied with me here at Kent, but she's done a year abroad and literally her Snapchats are lit, so you should watch her channel. It's lit, it's like, lit, it's lit, it's lit. It's amazing. And today we're gonna do an anti-haul. These have been really trending on YouTube at the moment. And there's been a lot of like what you're not gonna buy videos essentially. So these are products which we may have tried, may not have tried. We just really have products which we have no interest in purchasing. Mm. But I don't really, I'm not really a beauty girl. Like I'm beautiful, but <laughs> I'm not like a beauty guru kind of girl. So I don't really have loads of products. I probably have things I don't like, I but I am going to. Really she made a list. I've, I've, just got, I've just got a few things that I could say about a few products and a few people, but we, the juice mm, is going to come. Anyway, all right. So the first thing I'm not going to buy is the By Terry palette. It's like this really beautiful bronze shimmery blush palette um, I'll insert photos of everything but it's £65 which is like over a day's work for and what? what it's like a blush palette but like the way it is it's kind of got like like all these patterns in and it's different colours mm. but it's like the way the colours are like the colours don't work they only comes in two different colour ways and like I don't know who the colours are meant to be for because I'm like yeah I could be able to wear that colour and that colour but I definitely can't wear that colour or mm, that colour. I hate things. That's I hate, yeah, it's just like a waste. And it's like, it's beautiful to look at, but like £65 is absolutely ludicrous. That's another thing that these companies, makeup companies like doing. They like making the whole glitter thing, yeah, making it, it look all nice. But what is a shit things product? like Instagram, it's like, I don't, to be honest, like, By Terry is a really good brand. The quality mm. could be really good. It's just something like you really don't need. You're much better yeah. off buying an individual bronzer and an individual blush, yeah. which you'll actually use, because there's just so much in there you're not going to use. I feel like it's something like people will buy for the gram. Mm, yeah, like just to post it, but I'll just return it, both. <laughs> 65, do you know what I can buy with 65 pounds? The other day, well, yesterday, she bought flowers for six pounds, and I was furious, talking about 65 pounds on the bloody Ben they Terry, really that sounds like Ben and Jerry's. You're mad. <laughs> Anyways, next one. Um, Morphe brushes, um, eyeshadow palette. Personally, I'm a fan of Morphe brushes, and I love their eyeshadows. The pigment... In it is is it is that did I yeah, say it? yeah yeah I bought it but I bought a palette for my mum and like they're really affordable they're really I've got like four palettes or five palettes but what I know is when I finish buying all of them which is very silly of me I got two for my birthday actually um but um when I finish they're buying big palettes as well they're, they're big palettes and they're really nice and what I know is that I laid them out and I just like all of them kind of look the same and it's just like the shimmer ones look the same and the uh, matte ones they really on the matte ones I noticed like they love anything orangey. Like, yeah, they love that burnt orangey look. But I and feel like that's a good transition like look. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Like it's just like it, was, it will probably be a bit light or a bit dark, and it's just like it's just so unnecessary. Um, so it's better to buy the individual pots. But I don't think Morphe they do it, but I don't think they do it as much. I think they're really good at just having makeup palettes. geek. Are really makeup good. geek. Makeup that's what geek I was about to so say. Good at doing individual palettes. And they, their ones are and actually really good. And they always really do good. like three for two on Colt Beauty. Is it? No, Beauty Bay, they said a Beauty Bay seller and they always I do use Beauty twos. Chamber. Beauty Chamber is really good. Oh. And I was really pissed because I really want the free 5O palette because that's the palette that everyone always screams about. But I, because I've got the free 5K palette, it's kind of the same thing. So I just don't bother anymore. Also, in the UK, if you're from America, we don't. I know like so many YouTubers have discount codes, but like we don't buy it from the Morphe website. We have mm. to buy it from other websites. So yeah. it's not even like we can use the the discount codes unfair which is annoying but yeah, yeah but it's not from the same brand okay so the next product is a sun cream which sounds really weird to have on there it's by drunk elephant drunk elephant are kind of like emerging as this cult skincare brand they're really really expensive though um, and the sun cream is not expensive it's 35 dollars for a sun cream it's spf it's 30 um, but the, the, the reason why this one is amazing is because it's got like no parabens, no like whatever, and it's got a bit of a tint to it. But like the tint, I haven't seen it in person, I've only seen it on the website, but the tint is so pale. Like mm. it looks like my, I'm like the palest of the pale, but honestly, <laughs> it, lo it looks like my colour when I tan, and, and I'm not representative of like everyone. It's just like, oh, it's just so stupid. Like, mm. and also like it's $35 for a sun cream. Like just, just buy Nivea, <laughs> it's like eight quid. And like you can get tanning oils and stuff like that. Like I just feel yeah. like it's so bougie. There's no need. But yeah. there are some things I really just don't look to spend money on. Like sometimes skincare. Like I feel like if I spend like a little bit more and I'm like indulging myself. But like but some... you just bought six pounds of yeah. flowers. 
<laughs> I'm always gonna chase her on that because I don't understand why you're paying. Okay, my exams are finished. <laughs> These are really pretty flowers. They're like the most gorgeous. They are a beautiful colour. No, they're not. They came in a blue as well, but the blue, like, the, the lot, they only had one bundle left and they were pretty shit. I just feel like her room is very dull for the flowers to be there. Yeah, to bright they're there to brighten the room up. I've just finished my exams. <laughs> I deserve a treat. <laughs> All right. You want not treat me. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you bought me chocolates, actually. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, I so might have to... Scott that another guy got them for me. <laughs> well, he's gonna watch this video every day. I'll post this later. It's <laughs> <a great time. laughs> Anyways, you're yes. next. Um, next. Um, the Mac Primer. I don't know what it's called, but I've tried. Prep and Prime. I think so. I feel like they're going to call Prep and Prime. No, Prep and Prime. I don't know, but it's it's basically uh, it says it's a Mac Primer, but it's it makes me oily than ever. Like it's just so rubbish. Just a waste of my money. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think probably the primer just doesn't work because of my skin type. Um, because you know some people, everyone has a different kind of skin um, type, and they like I feel like not every primer works for everyone. So um, what happens that like, I bought this primer thinking that because it's Mac, it's gonna be perfect, but it just turned out it was worse than bloody L'Oreal or anything. Like I think the primer that I use, I don't even use a primer anymore because my skin is quite dry. Yeah, your skin's um, dry. You don't really need. Yeah, it. unless you have something like and you want to like fill it in with something then you don't really need but what happens the NARS makes my face quite oily because it is quite uh, it's, it's, it's watery it's like it's not as heavy as MAC um, foundation but it does make my face a bit oily after a certain while um um certain period of time and um but what helps me is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and this is not a like this is an anti haul but I just want to give them a shout out because they've helped Sometimes the system. Though, like, I feel like if you like if your skin's pretty good and it's pretty mm. dry and it takes makeup good anyway, you don't need a primer. You just need like a setting spray that is an alternative. Yeah, I just use the um, Mac Fit um, the spray. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. That's when you just don't need a primer. So my next item is the PMD Kiss Lip Plumping, and it's basically this dangerous looking device which you like suck onto, it like vibrates and it like makes your lips bigger. I don't know if have you seen any YouTube videos on it. Like Tati did like a WCF, but quite a few people doing it. It's basically hopping on the idea of when there was that Kylie Lip Jenna challenge, um, where they like would suck on stuff to make their lips bigger. It essentially does that, but like does it properly. It looks dangerous mm. as a hell. It's $139. You may as well just get lip injections. Um, it's unnecessary, like, you can do it with lip liners and stuff like that. Mm. And, like, also, I feel like, like, we discussed this a bit earlier, but I feel like there's need to have, like, these, sh like, huge lips. So I feel like it's... If they are natural, natural, don't get, get them, bitch! Okay, so my next one's going to be Jeffree. Oh, this is a whole brand. Yeah, it's, a, it's just everything from the lipstick to the person, just everything. The to, to the highlight, to the channel, everything. Every, the product, the, everything of... Anything that's created with him, about him, everything. Don't like him. Hello everyone, this is Natalie from The Future. Now, I know that Jeffree Star has recently published a video apologising for all this stuff we're just about to talk about. Um, and to be quite frank, I really, I think it's just a bit, it's too little too late to be honest. It was done in response to Tati getting hate, not him. Um... And it kind of just, ugh, I don't know, I just thought that the timing of it was all about PR rather than actually being sincere. I felt like he talked about himself for most of the video. And whilst I think it's horrible that anyone has had to go through what he's gone through and being bullied, etc. I don't think, obviously, and I understand that obviously you might have a lot of anger and you might direct it in a way. But I don't really, I still feel like he didn't quite address like the core issue that he was being racist and targeting black women. Um, as seen recently with Jackie Iona as well. A lot's going on there and it's just I just didn't feel it was sincere enough and I felt like the video was 80% about his experiences and then 20% about what he's made other people feel and I feel like those proportions should have been the other way around so yeah I know some people will disagree with me but that is how I feel and I will be sticking to that I can't speak for Beverly but I imagine she probably feels the same way all right thanks get back with the video now uh, he I went for it I didn't know I exposed Jeffree Star to Beverly last yeah night. She, I didn't know about him because I don't take an interest in these kind of people you know what I mean but um yeah he saw a video who's the girl that made the video on him 
Uh, Sarah Nicole, I think is her name. Yeah, so Sarah I saw Nicole. the video. I saw her review on him. So it was she was in an anti hauls. What was it? It was just a rant about him. No, it was a, she basically did a review about all of Jeffrey Star's products, mm. and then at the end she was like, "I'm gonna address the controversies," and she did. Um, like I just think it's just silly to tweet. support. I don't know how he's got so much support. I'm so sorry. Oh, I imagine probably someone has. How can you say what? Well, I don't even want to repeat the words because that's just a violation. It's but um, yeah, that was just ridiculous. And I get. We'll leave the video below. So yeah, about, so I'm you can talk sure about it. Everyone knows. Yeah, I watched him, but I've actually come across him, but I didn't know about what he said about um, black women. Um, and yeah, you said it a couple of years ago, but. He was still 21. He was still We're 21. 21 We're 21 now. I would never, I would never think to say that. Oh, if you're educated to speak, you're educated to know that is disrespectful to say such things And also, about. Every, it's not even, like, that to me is a fundamental reason for other things as well. Like, he always compares success on bank balance. So I don't know if you know about this, but any tweet back will be like, you see the coins I'm making, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's great if you've worked hard and you have made your money. Yeah, but it's like, the morals, not, yeah. It's not everything. Like, it really isn't. I hate when people do that. Even, I'm not going to lie. I Nicki Minaj does that. Because I have more, yeah. yeah like, yeah, she not, does in her rap. She yeah, does like rap. hip hop is not. She yeah, it's like, about making she's money. Like, but. She's like, yeah, well, check my zeros in my bank account, and I love her. Like, yeah, I love she Nikki, does do but that. It's not all just about the that. money. But anyways, yeah, Jeffrey um, All Star, whatever his name is, Star. he got a goal. <laughs> What's his name? It's Jeffrey Star. Yeah, it Jeffrey does, Star. Like, <laughs> so even as someone who's like Caucasian, like it does disgust me, like the fact that like he still has this massive audience. Yeah. Like, bigger than so many, like, honest, good people. Like, bigger than Jackie. I know. And Jackie. We love you. We love Jackie so much. But, like, it disgusts me that he manages to... I have a makeup brand. And, and it's like, oh, yeah, on Instagram. Talk about Instagram. Nicole, not Sarah Nicole. Yeah. Oh, my God. He, like, blackface. <gasps> oh. How can he I blackface? Point, because he's like, so... Because he's so There's unpopular no amongst the black community, <laughs> he had to blackface, like, paint a woman though. black. A Latino girl, like when I mean she's a bit darker than her, then on the picture, can, can you insert the picture when yeah, you yeah, edit? To. On the picture, this girl, bruh, she's. I think she's my shade. I'm not even exaggerating. She's gonna. That's ridiculous. I, I, the the fact that you had to go all that way to that extent bad. to do that, that is that just shows so much about you and your product and your brand and everything about you. Anything stupid. that's gonna come after you, anything that's before you. It just you. frustrates me because it is one of those things where it's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like he, yeah. No, that was just, sorry, that's just a serious rant that I had to let out. <laughs> I would never buy anything. And to be honest, I'm at the point now where I see, there are so many brands out there, like there are so many. You can't even be like, we're not at the stage anymore where it's like, Oh yeah, but I'm gonna buy Jeffrey because he's the only person that does liquid lipsticks. Or I'm gonna buy Jeffrey because he's the only person There's that so does There's so many makeup product. brands out there, you so can buy many. some more. Well, I had a really awkward encounter actually at Benefit. I was literally just like picked up something from the Benefit counter. And to be fair, I've heard that their head office are very like strict with sales if you don't hit them. Really? Yeah, they are like... Like I've heard so many stuff. I don't want to say it on here in case it's like slander. Mm. But I've just heard some things. But this girl literally came up to me and like you know how sometimes shop assistants can be so extra, mm. like cleaning myself when I was one. Like they can be so extra. Like she just came up and be like, we have new lipsticks today. They have a lip liner and a lipstick in. And she was showing me. I was like, oh cool. Like, I didn't like uh, this is the first range of lipsticks benefits ever done. Mm. She was like, yeah yeah. Oh before this, I've always used Jeffree Star. And I was like, oh, like, I literally just went like Sister. that. And Is she, that, was, she, she probably thinks that, that she's a uh, white, um, per, like, trash. yeah, white trash, basically, and will um, support the Jeffree Star, but my sister here is on my side, so... To whoever you are, you should be ashamed of No, but you know, she was like, are you a Kat Von D girl then? I was like, no, I just don't support a racist. <laughs> I said it to her and she was like really, she was like, but they're animal free and like cruelty free, like they're animal cruelty free and they're vegan, I was like, Great. Yeah, eat me and so what? <laughs> she, she continued with her sales pitch and I was like, no, no when to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like this video went off on a tangent. But really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all went, legit, this is how we are when we're just yeah, not on camera. Just, like, hey. Hey. And then we're like, but back to the original. Yeah, one. like, what are yeah. we talking about again? But yeah, this yeah. was our anti haul. I'm just saying this, like, this is my channel. Like, this is our anti haul. Make, sure uh, <laughs> yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, let's let's get this to one thousand likes. <laughs> I don't even think I hit like ten likes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> you never know, you never know where no. this takes us, but yeah. yeah, that's it basically. Thank you so much for watching. Do give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you like any of the products we anti hauled as well, please comment below and let us know like why, so if you can change our minds. And what, um, what, what, what would you anti haul? Like, yeah. What would you anti haul? Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, shit, sub to Beverly. <laughs> I have this at the beginning. Sub to, Sub me. to Beverly as well. Alright. I'm gonna get some more content on here. So she if you want then, if you want more rants oh then I'll actually God. be the girl. Watching for you. Beverly's vlogs are so funny. <laughs> I haven't released them because they're so <laughs> it's funny because like alright, basically you all think everyone switched off now. You all think that like when people vlog they're just like, Hi, money! <laughs> we don't. Like we sit there and we'll be like, Hi! Hi. Then, oh, hi. hi. Oh. And then it's like, hey. Like, when you were like, oh my god, she was one of Beverly put on her makeup and she was like dancing to like nothing in the back. She was like, oh, I'm gonna put music over it. <laughs> I was like, why don't you just listen to music in the background mute it? So you were actually dancing. She was like, because I because I didn't want the thing, um the camera to um come off focus because it was just in the focus right now. So I was like, okay, let me just do it now. <laughs> but it's we so gotta go. Funny. So see ya. Bye.